Hey guys, it's Pamela. Um, doing it live today. Well, not live, not live. Like you're watching and it's happening right now live, but you know what I mean. Uh, I've been doing some rearranging. It just helps me to have everything organized when it starts getting too ratted out. I can't think and, well, not that I can't think, I just, well, yeah, I can't think, period, but I, it's just, I lose, I guess, some creativity or motivation. I just don't, it's like, every time I look at the mess, it's like, ugh, no. So I got everything organized. I'll show some pictures, but I put up some pegboards, all the Amsterdam paint on there, and um, <clears throat> I uh, put some Pebio on there too. Everything that had a hole in it would go on a pegboard. And then I put my other things neatly in their own designated box by by brand, really. Not buying any more paint until I at least deplete this inventory of at least 75%. Uh, no, you know that's not going to happen. So here we are with a, what shape is this? Well, this is the spinner, of course, that uh, you always see in my videos, or at least the last, last few. And this is um, a waffle deal. I think I talked about it the first time that I used it. Um, they're for just like sitting things on so that they drain, or you can use them in the oven and cook on them if you get one that's um, for the oven. I'm sorry, I can't think of what they're called technically. If you're interested in a link, I'll put one down below. Um, well, I'll do that anyway. I found, I also have a red one that I found at Walmart. And it was, you know, in the houseware section uh, with the cooking stuff. So I know it's something to do with cooking. It was thicker. This one's pretty thin. In fact, when I ordered this, they came two and they were, they were kind of not really stuck together, but they were on each other. And I, I was like, oh, I got ripped off. I paid for two. And um, it looked like there was just one. Did I say that right? Yeah. So this is an MDF board. I haven't poured on a lot of MDF. What I have was really thin. This one is almost an inch thick. And um, <clears throat> this is a, uh, what shape is this? It's not an octagon. Um, what shape is this? Octagon is eight. Pentagon is five. I don't know that. Uh, hexagon. Hexagon. I don't know where that just popped in the brain. Okay. I'm going to use this because this is um, it's a little bigger than a 12 by 12 area of space. And I really want to get a maximum amount of, and I don't really have enough. Oh, I think I'm going to run into problems. I don't really have enough pillow just in case. I mean, I might. We're gonna come back. I'm in a new area today. I'll go ahead and pan and show you real quick. This is the room upstairs where I started pouring. It's got a smaller window, so I went downstairs mainly because of that. But, um, here's part of the thing that was giving me so much grief, and I've Stacked everything nice. There's wood panels in that box. And then all the canvas are up here. Nice and neat. I can't believe I actually got this room together. I didn't think it was going to happen. This is all stuff that's on my website, ready to go. So I'm trying to keep it out of the way. And pillow paint and pouring medium. So I do that up here in this room. Before I was doing it downstairs with the colors and it was just too much. So I do, I do just those two things up here and I make the colors downstairs so the things aren't confused. Here's a bunch of paintings when I did pearl pours that I'm going to repaint over. And then here's some that I'm going to sand down. This is a panel because I have a sander so I might as well put it to use and reuse a... Um, and then here's this do doohickey here <clears throat> that's, um, you don't even see that. It's brand new and I refuse to use it. So, 
Now this can is half full, so I'm just gonna mix these two together. Now if you all can think of an easier way to get this done, by all means, let me know in the comments. <laughs> these are stirred, not shaken. And I can see the difference in the paint as I'm pouring this one into the other one. This is more of a kind of a gray tone. It's not as bright white as this premium, but really you're not gonna know the difference. And it goes on. Okay. Okay, so this was half full already, this Glidden Premium, and then I added almost half of the Glidden Essential semi-gloss to it. And I'm just doing it this way because I'm going to make a really huge batch, which I normally only make like a eight cup batch at a time. But the recipe, the recipe is for every four cups, I do a tablespoon of GAC 800, a tablespoon of distilled or bottled water. I don't use tap because our tap is kind of minerally, mineral, yeah, that's a word here. So I like to use bottled water. And that's it really. Oh, I'm already worn out. I'm just trying to open that bottle. God. Jesus Christ. No wonder. <sighs> um, maybe if I set it in hot water. My gosh. <sighs> All right, I got another bottle. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna make it this whole can, so I don't really care if it makes a mess. Yeah, I do. I do care. We're going to pretend like this is four cups. It's actually two, but in four cups, like I said, I would just put a teaspoon of GAC or a tablespoon rather, and I don't measure. And then a tablespoon of water. Stirring that for about 30 seconds. And you can see there's still folds. It's not completely mixed. There's still folds of something in there. It's the water and GAC that isn't completely mixed in. You can see it. Can you see it? <laughs> okay, now can you see it? See how it came off the spoon right there? It's not, you can see these folds. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, I'm gonna mix up a color. I'm just gonna use this Atelier Silver Atelier Interactive Unlockable Formula. It's the only acrylic that can be adjusted and blended longer than the conventional acrylics. The colors are intense without a plastic look and feel. So it's just a different binder than their acrylics. You know or easier to blend with other mediums. I 
And here's my pouring media mixed up. I got about a teaspoon in there. That's about one and a half. That's about three. Mm. Let's stir that up and see what happens. Okay, so that's about one part paint to two parts pouring medium. And it's not flowing off of my little bamboo stick that easily. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. Usually the rule of thumb is like one part paint to three parts pouring medium. But it depends on your paint. How thick it is, what kind of binder it's got in it. If you're just using pigments, then you might want to put some sort of gloss gel or something to give it some body. Because if it's just pigments and there's no acrylic binder in there, I hope you can hear me over the stirring. And every paint is going to feel different, so you just have to get used to it. Try to make them all the same consistency as you can. They're not going to be exact because different companies use, like I said, different binders, different materials and stuff in their formula. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. Oh my goodness, Cleo. Okay. I've got the Deco Art Velo Turquoise in an Amsterdam Prussian Blue. And I've got some Pearl X Turquoise in a Deco Art Cobalt Turquoise and a little Extreme Sheen Sapphire in this one. I'd like to mix and match, don't we all? Uh, this is Amsterdam um, Greenish Blue. This is Pebio Green Blue Iridescent with. Um, Lumi Turquoise, the Jacquard Lumi Turquoise. These things, Lumiere, Lumiere, Lumiere. There you go, <laughs> Lumiere, Jacquard. I think that's how you say it. I'll talk about my pouring medium and colors in part two. This is um, Deco Arts Green Gold with, now when I say Deco Art, I don't mean, I mean this one. I found these half price at Deco Arts website, and I think they're, I thought they were gonna just replace the um, packaging, but I think they're just gonna just call it this now. Traditions. It's in the same tube. I bought a few of those too. So, so the Deco Art Green Gold and the Lumiere, Lumiere Citrine, and a little bit of Artist Loft Iridescent Medium, and Atelier Silver. So I'm going to do some blue today. Oh, I may also do some of this. This is, I can go right to it because everything's so organized. It's insane, okay. I mean, it's a miracle. <laughs> Dragonfly. And this comes in different shades. This one is the green gold red shift. And that's just because I had one almost empty because I tried it as a top coat. I didn't like it as a top coat. But it's really gorgeous. It looks like you've poured glitter in your bloom. It's just, oh, I love it. I'm gonna get some more of that. Okay. Now 
this is my plastic container lid. I just went in with a scissor and cut out the middle and left the border. Nothing real technical about that. For my cell activator, this is a mix of a couple of different titanium whites along with Amsterdam titanium white. I don't remember what, but I had it mixed up in this bottle. It works. I really just need to use it up. And of course, it's the, this is the Aussie Flow Troll that I just started trying recently. Yeah, I know I complained about these bottles. After a while, they get kind of gross. If I keep a wet nap nearby to keep the tops wiped off, and be sure you close them when you're done, <laughs> you'll be okay. I mean, you know, I just decided that it keeps the paint fresher than these cups. I don't know why. I think it's the lid. I'm not real sure. Okay, I don't want to do this. I'm going to make an area no larger than my swiping tool. Okay, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to modify this a little bit, what they call a modified bloom. I'm going to modified swipe <laughs> because I kind of messed up with my swipe in the middle. 
I kind of dragged some cells from the other side that were underneath that hadn't really come up yet. And since I couldn't see them, well, they're starting to develop more, so maybe I won't do it. I was thinking about doing this. Should I do it? Should I do that? Should I do it? No. <laughs> Such a tease. No. paint just to be sure I have enough to go around. Be careful when you're doing this you don't pour it into your cells. I'm going to adjust the canvas off to this side a little bit more that way where I have the white paint that I want covered so that there'll be more centrifugal force uh, with it towards the outside. I'm not going to get into any technical stuff with that, but you know what I mean. Well, I almost lost it, but <laughs> we're just going to leave it in the center. It was a little too heavy for that, but it works on a smaller canvas. Awesome, I'm gonna leave it like that, guys. I got a little bit more to get off over here, but well, maybe one more time. Ouch. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it, I don't think it's noticeable. <gasps> Ew, the iridescent. What do you think? Yeah. Maybe. It's better than usual, right? Yes. Or it is, is it like all the others? No, it's a lot better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 